Hello. Um, so it's a dark night. The light's gone out here, meaning this, the light burnt out or the electricity shorted out. Um, I am in Be'er Sheva after my last, uh, as often and as much as I'm in Jerusalem, which is my home for over half my life, which I will get back to. One day I had to relocate due to finances after my last major, what is called a major episode. So tonight, people ask me what it's like to hear God. And tonight, I thought tonight I would uh, give about a minute's worth of stories. Why am I looking like this? Because payday is coming. Once a month I get my disability and uh, I haven't been able to get a haircut for about a month or so. Or So I'm in beard trim, so next week, next week we get a trim and a, and a haircut. God, what's it like to hear God? People th- get terrified. They say, uh, you know, if someone's hearing God, they have to be put on meds, they have to be put in a hospital, they have to be put away. What if God tells them to go kill someone? So it's pretty easy to say, fuck you, God, I'm not going to kill him. People say, fuck you, God, all the time, right? People say, God, you know, <laughs> God says you can't commit adultery. People say, fuck you, I'll do what I want. God says, people say you can't steal, fuck you, I'll do what I want. People say you're going to murder, fuck you, I can't uh, do what I want. All right, so why would not any? <laughs> why would it be any different? In all seriousness, uh, not once is a voice that I've heard, and I've heard tens of thousands. Um, I've been called by a psychiatrist, what's... I don't know, this is what they said, a rich schizophrenic mean, um, that I can hear and see tens of thousands of things a day, uh, as opposed to someone who hears one voice consistently. Um, So uh, not once has a voice ever told me to hurt someone or attack someone. Um, Not once has a vision inspired me to do so. Of all the people I know who who are like me, not one of them has ever been like that. I know Son of Sam, I think it was, heard his dog, that serial killer in New York in the 70s, heard his dog tell him to kill people. So that wasn't God. That was God backwards. So, um, let's see, the first thing God ever said to me was, I was lying on the couch, or the voice I knew was God, and I, I, I heard, I was lying on the couch and he said, Shmuel. I just instantly knew it was God. No no jumping up, no, no, no screaming from the mountain, no religion. No religious fever. It was just like, okay, God's talking to me. He said, we get off the, get up off your couch and, and jump once. And, Would you, please, right? So I said, okay, God wants me to do something like that. Now people will then say, but you just said, you would say I'm not going to do it. There's a qualitative difference between being alone in your apartment and hearing God ask you to jump once. And do it. Let's get to the end of the story. So I start to move a little bit. And he says, Shmuel, don't get off the couch. I go by a couple different names. Shmuel is one of them. Uh, he says again, we get off the couch and jump on. So I start moving, smoke, don't get off the couch. It goes back and forth 15 times. Finally, I say, you know, Elohim, uh, God, what do you want from me? He says, Shmuel, the first thing you have to learn, says the voice, is how not to listen. There was a lot of strange things that happened with the voice. There was a lot of cool things. There was a lot of funny things. There were terrifying things. Terrifying in uh, deep existential ways. Um, one of the weirdest things was uh, he said to me one time, that before I was ever in an ambulance, in a hospital, on medication, he said to me, look, it's been a long time, it's been like a year, two years that we've been doing this, I can't remember exactly, I think it was a year, two years, yeah. and he says, uh, very soon, uh, someone's going to come for you, they're going to come and they're going to get you and they're going to take you and they're going to do something to your mind and you won't hear me again, or you won't hear me, hear me anymore, and you will forget and then you will remember and where they're taking you, I will not go because if I go into that place and I and I'm there to see what they're doing to the minds and the souls of the of the of the ones who I of the ones who are my favorites, of the ones who I I, I, I talk to, and the ones who can hear me, and the ones that I have messages to to deliver. Not he never once uh, he consistently said I was not a prophet. By the way, he said if I were to see that, I would destroy everything. It reminds and the voice said it reminds me too much of the Holocaust. I'd never been into a mental hospital before. What does he mean? What do, what do I take the voice to mean in comparison to the Holocaust? That there is a destruction, in my opinion, in the mental hospitals here in Israel, a destruction of mind and soul that, that happens without remorse and is done to anyone who hears or sees something which the psychiatrists deem to be beyond acceptable perception of reality, including any existential experience with God or, you know, et cetera thereof. So, Two weeks after that warning, ambulance comes to my house. The men knock on the door. I open, I see who they are. I go to close the door. They push the door illegally, barge in by force. Um, I tell them to leave. They say they don't have to. 
Uh, they have a warrant. They said, they're not co- you're not cops. Get out of my house. Twice the ambulance people have broken down my door, not because of not holding a knife, not doing anything, just sitting in my... Because that's how they do it here. They break in. Um, and um, and then I it was resolved in the end. I told the ambulance people to, to call the police, and a police officer who was a friend of mine um, showed up at my house, just a neighborhood cop, and, and then I went with him to the hospital. Um, there was a lot of funny stuff, but that was the first lesson that uh, God, the voice known as God, ever taught me, and that was... I don't know, eight years ago, something like that. Am I hearing him now? Nope. Will I hear him again? I hope so.